percent of Uganda faced with high levels of unemployment and underemployment designed through the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development, a program with the 10 pillars, green jobs, to try to sort out this issue. So Songhai is one of the 10 pillars of this program. Other pillars we want to reskill those graduates who have paper degrees but they don't have the skills to fit into the job market. But you have other people who have never gone to school, you can take them to a skilling uh, training school, give them the skills in order to join the labor market. But you're also aware that there are productivity is an issue within our enterprises but we also want to turn our uh, raw materials into finished products for export and local use so we shall another pillar is uh, sheltered workshops we we'll have shall, we shall have machinery for tailoring leather works uh, metal fabrication if we chose to use our skins hides and skin into leather and we only concentrate on men's belts and wallets and our leather is good and the products are good we shall no longer be importing wallets and leather belts from abroad so in a way we shall be doing helping government import substitution the 13 youth who underwent a training on the Songhai model in Benin. The Songhai model was adopted by the government of Uganda in 2016. The Songhai model involves bioproduction, uh, bioconsumption, bioprocessing, and bioenergy. In bioproduction, we have uh, crop production, we have aquaculture, we have piggery, we have uh, poultry, which are the primary systems of production in the Songhai model. And then in bioprocessing, we add value in the products we produce. And then in bioconsumption, we produce organic food that uh, we process and ensure that the livelihoods of our communities are improved because of the organic way of production we do in the Songhai system of production. One of the aspects of the Songhai model is a total production and zero waste. The job creation for the youth and the empowerment of young women out there. As a beneficiary of this model, as one of the pilots of the pilots of this model, I intend to replicate this model in my home district because of the advantages and the values I already see. I happen to be the, among the youth that went to Benin to undertake a training on the Songhai model. As you can see, we piloted it, and uh, this purpose you're seeing so far, four months. And in the next two months, I expect to be harvesting uh, my purpose. One of the things that I've learned from the, this training, I've been empowered with skills for self reliance. And for me, I'm looking forward to replicating this project in my home district. I, uh, I also intend to add value to, to my purpose. Of course, we're looking at the primary product and then secondary production. So I intend to add a value to my purpose. I basically I want to, I intend to produce uh, purple jam and also purple juice. I'm from the north, I'm proud to be one. I'm very lucky to have been among the 13 youth that we are taking to Benin to learn the Songhai model. This model is purely organic and uh, trust me, this is going to save us from most of these chemical foods that we have been eating. My friends out there, my youth out there, my elders out there, this system is sustainable. This is an agriculture system that we can all do because we use simple natural items like chicken dropping, molasses that we all know as kalodo. 
you can have a look at this cabbage right here it's just a month and a week we use items that boost it up so fast and we yield early and get high yields in two to three months you're just there please come learn this model come carry it on a farmer now can get in a 50 by 100 you can actually make a million or two and you're there please come and i plan to take this to my hometown i plan to practice this let's take it on and i'm happy that uh, the, the experience from the youth livelihood program most people believed that the young people don't want agriculture and there was an assumption that boys don't want agriculture if you manage your material and the energy well that make, makes the soils healthy then the production goes up if the soil is not diseased then you don't need the pesticide and you don't need artificial fertilizer. So, we decided to come to Camp Iringisa for one major reason. Because this is an ideological departure from the conventional agriculture. We didn't want to fight with the conventional agriculturists because this is a new way of looking of, at things and it's a new ideology. So we are independent of agriculture while we are going to support agriculture. And I hope that many people who are dealing in agriculture, people from Ministry of Agriculture, the scientists, will come and see the changes using this new way of doing business. I am an agricultural engineer and uh, a master of uh, business administration student finalist. I have the awesome opportunity to work here at the Songai as uh, an agricultural engineer and I'm stationed in the agroforestry section. I love the fact that Songai model is a revolving model and which has come to stay and is here for the best of our farmers. It is an integrated system that encompasses all the levels of production right from the primary level to the secondary level of production and also finally to the tertiary level of production. At the primary level we look at the production uh, of the crops and at secondary we add value to the crops and at tertiary level we look at the level where we market the products that we make. We have various sections here, the Songhai, and we have uh, the crop production sections, we have the piggery sections, we have fishing section, we have a host of all other sections. And in the wake of climate change issues and uh, harnessing the uh, opportunities that we have in the natural environment, the Songhai model is the way to go. And I encourage everyone out there in the world to come and take up this model and it will be working for use of a small piece of land to generate maximum returns. So you're welcome to Songai and I wish you the best. In the fertilization unit, in our model, we, do, we deal with producing the organic pesticides, we produce compost, we produce liquid manures, and we also do the RCW that we use for mulching. Right now we are standing in the compost unit at this point, at this, in this place, we manage the waste on the farm. We collect all the waste, the one that can decompose, we pile it up and make compost. We produce liquid manure that we call effluent. It is a um, liquid manure that is made from available resources, locally available resources, animal waste, weeds, molasses and water we just ferment a mixture of that and we get a liquid manure that is ready for use in the garden. Songa is an integrated model of which involves crop production, animal, all that integrated system. Uh, here I'm in charge of market garden and as you're looking at this portion here we have cabbage uh, and this type of cabbage, uh, it is an, it's called Nozak, it's a variety. Uh, Nozak, uh, one of its 
advantages. It's very sweet as when regarding to its taste and it's very heavy. When you hold it, actually it can go up to 1 kg. Uh, when you look at this plot, it is 50 by 50 and we have over 28 beds of which you may find that each bed we have over 80 on each bed and we expect to harvest over 2,008 cabbages. These green beans, uh, they are climbing plants. That's why we do staking here. Uh, we do staking because they normally climb and go beyond uh, the downer level. That's why we normally pull them up so that they can grow and bear fruits from up. As you see here, they have started bearing fruits, uh, the, the beans. So when you leave them to be down, automatically they will be affected by water uh, and they will start rotting. So when you do, we do staking and it's actually, we normally use a, a spacing of three meters on each. I'm uh, one member of uh, Songhai team. We are here to start uh, market garden and uh, here you can see we start planting uh, cucumber and this uh, cucumber is different is uh, the size is big is a big size and we can see on this uh, bed and uh, the thing you can see here is you have some sun and uh, here soil this soil is a clay soil and uh, now we are in a rainy season if i put directly the seed on this uh, clay soil the, when it fall it can cover the seed and the seed will take a long time before germinate why i put some on place i want to put the seed before start planting this is a new new ideas you don't need really to run very fast People must be convinced. But because the, the central production line is going to be here, you need to mobilize the neighbors around this facility. So with the seven with the seven sub counties, that's already an expansion area. If I can cover those uh, sub counties in MPG, you cover Butambara, yeah, you cover Wakiso, you cover Mukono, before you even go elsewhere. I think to me that will be good. First of all, this program was uh, supported by everybody in the cabinet. It's a government program. It's only located within the means of uh, gender. And the purpose for it is job creation. The, the purpose for which I'm creating jobs for the youth, the women, and all Ugandans. While agriculture is for production for the population. And there's no contradiction. Because Songhai model does not rely on rain. Without, without, with or without rain, you can produce throughout the year if you, you are irrigating. So our next expansion, bigger expansion, is in Koblin, one of our institutions in Karamoja, where we do rehabilitation of children and we skill. So we hope that we want to liberate the whole of the, the eastern region through Koblin, in, in, in Karamoja. But we hope that even privately, private people can come here, learn, go and establish their own farms. So it's a snowball, a, a, a snowball uh, expansion where I, I invite all the farmers, I invite all the private sector to come and partner with us so that they can take this knowledge to their areas. I invite all the elected MPs, the chairperson of LC5, because in every district there is supposed to be a district farm institute. If there is no district farm institute, at least there is a, a community development center. I invite the prison services, because uh, these people have a lot of land. I invite UPDF, because they are also in production. So the more who spread their ideas, because the issue is, use less land and produce more and add value and export because with Songhai the market is there